Please support this channel by buying a N90X mug. Details in the description box and at n90x.info. Thank you for your support. Hey, welcome back to N90X. I found this really sweet deal on eBay server racks for four dollars. Okay, where are you going to find a server rack for four dollars? Impossible to find. I got it, so excited, only to discover that this is for 28 to 38 inch range, okay? 28 to 38 inch range. And I'll show you in a second, my server rack, the range is around 20 inches front to back, at least for where the mounting brackets are. Here we are, here we are at my rack, and you can see that from front to back, the mounting uh, distance is around 20 inches, not 28 to 32. So what I bought for four dollars, it's a very good price, but was too the minimum length was too wide to fit into this server rack. So I modified it as I showed you below, cutting both the inner and the outer. And as you can see, I've already mounted two servers. This is a uh, Nescular MPX 5500, and this is an Apple X Serve 2008, which I've used in some of my other videos. And you can see they're mounted perfectly fine using the modified racks. So it's still worth it to modify these. Now, I came up with a system, I did some measurements, and if we take off the spring, take off this mounting hook for the spring, we can separate these rails, okay, and we can trim them down to the right size. And once you do the trimming, you can reassemble it, drill a new hole for the spring, spring, uh, this, this bracket here, or post for the spring, and you can have rails for the uh, not so deep server racks. But with these, these are, these are tension racks. So with the spring, they kind of, they pop into your holes a little bit at an angle, and then this front post here actually locks it into place. And I'll show you that up close when we get up to the server room. And, uh, and then the spring kind of keeps the tension on it. And what's good about it, then the way these are designed is that when you, know, when, you, when you slide the server out for maintenance or what have you, it locks in place with this little device here so that it, it doesn't tip over, okay? But the, the important thing is, is that for $4 a set, I got server racks. They just need to be modified. Now, what tools are involved? I wasn't sure how I'd be able to cut this steel, but this is, a, this is the cheapest, I guess you'd call it an edge grinder or a grinding wheel. This was the cheapest one made in China. Uh, it was like 85 or 89 zlotys, Polish zlotys, so it's about $25. And this was uh, a steel cutting blade that cost less than a dollar, but it's cutting right through just like butter. Maybe it is aluminum. And that's all you need. So let's get started. Okay. Now, what you'll have to do is, in your whatever your situation is, when you want to adjust it, you just want to measure from front to back what distance you actually need. And then remember that the insert will stop at a certain point. So whatever you cut off of this, Pretty much you're going to have to cut almost the same amount off of this so that it slides in correctly. And then once you make the cuts, it should slide together and you can put it and install it into your rack. Okay, so I have my outer rack here. Here is just a template. And I'm cutting off, this is 28 to, this is 20, about 25 inches or 63 centimeters. I'm going to cut off right around 9 inches or 23 centimeters. So I think that's a pretty good line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be as, you know, as close to it as possible. And on the other piece here, okay. 
which slides inside. It is, it is 22 inches or 56 centimeters and I'm going to trim off approximately seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters. So I'm just going to draw a line. Right there. Mark where the scrap is. Okay, re remember everything depends upon the, the width of your, or the depth of your server rack. You may have to adjust it, of course, just make the measurements, measure twice, cut once, okay? And when these guys come back together, the total, the total length is, should be around 19 inches, although I believe that the clearance that I have is about 20 inches. So, but because this is spring loaded, it's gonna be able to slide open and adjust for it. So let's get this in the vice grip, vice. So check it out. So I set up a vice here on my workbench. Okay, definitely safety first, people. Definitely safety first. It's gonna throw up a lot of spark. Try not to have anything flammable in, in the way. Secure it in to a vise. This will cut right through this thing like butter. I guess this is aluminum. I thought it was steel, but it's probably aluminum. It cuts right through like butter. Watch this. Okay, cut right through like butter, as you saw. And then I just took the wheel and kind of grind it down any sort of uh, barbs that might be sticking out. And it's not a perfect cut, but it should be, still should be good enough. If it's not perfect and you need more clearance, of course you can always do another cut. So that's the first piece, the hour part. Okay, you see that was, again, really, Really easy to cut right through it. Ah, mm. I made a second cut because it was off. Now let us see how it lines up. You could drill with a pilot hole first if you if you feel uncomfortable drilling directly. You want a high power drill, do not put it on the hammer mode, definitely on the drill mode only. Uh, a steel bit or a bit for drilling steel, steel or metal. And sort of right in the center, close to the close to the edge, you want to drill that hole. Watch out for those metal shavings. See, there you go. Holes right there. Remember what side the screw was in. Place it in, tighten it down. And then you can reattach the spring. Now we've adjusted this server rack perfectly for our infrastructure. And do it again for the other side and then you've got a completed rack uh, holder. Of course, you're gonna have to mount these on the side of your server if they're not already on there because there's all kinds of different sizes but if you luck out and get one with this size already installed then you know it'll slide right in. One important thing is I cut these specifically a little bit shorter than they needed to be so that they would expand when they're installed and that would allow the spring to tension 
if I tension to keep them together. That's how these are designed to be. So that's something to consider. You don't want to make it under tensioned because then if you have an issue, the springs are not going to do their job of holding these together. But otherwise, it's a really good solution. It's working perfectly fine. And I think, you know, instead of spending whatever it could be, $100 or more for a rack system, they're on eBay. I'll put a link below. He had hundreds of them for $4 or $5 each. Depends. I think I bought four at a time. Hey, I bought eight of them and I got a, you could make, build, make your own price offer. And I offered, I think $4 a, per, a piece. So it may be as possible to get it as low as $4 plus shipping to your location. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Please support this channel by buying a N90X mug. Details in the description box and at n90x.info. Thank you for your support.